Hello again, it's more San Marino challenge time. Uh, part 7 now at this stage, um, I believe. And uh, now messing about now, it is the first leg of two against uh, Mon Monte Chiari. I always get the wrong, excuse me. Monte Chiari. Yeah, Monte Chiari are the opponents. So after getting a very, very lucky draw with the higher seed rule um, it's now pretty much gonna go against us if we're not careful as Monte Chiari finished in third place in the league ahead of us and that is my team you can see it there just one or two minor changes uh, nothing too drastic so we need to be very careful we are so close to getting promoted via the playoffs I really really want it now more than anything to be honest uh, I can just inform you that San Marino the national side lost a recent friendly to Luxembourg naturally that's very disappointing but uh, so, you know it's only the first season plenty of work to do uh, yeah, so I have to name this squad. I, I believe it, it'll do the job. Marco Villanova has been an absolute saint getting those two goals uh, to rescue uh, our season. So Dimas, the league's top scorer, is playing. We're going to have to take give very uh, good care of him. Like, I don't want him to be injured or anything. That would be mean. Uh, but anyway, this is directly after my Pentagon chant recording, which the resolution was too big, so it's most likely going to be difficult to read, because I don't know how to upload HD videos with fraps. So assertively, um, so if we play our game, we'll win. We're all very capable. So. Um, Monte Chiari are in excellent form, but I have to tell the guys that they are very, very good to give them the belief they need. We're going to try and go standard, like nothing rash in our first moves. To be honest, nothing. We don't want to lose uh, the first goal. No away goals, but if it is a draw, I believe the higher seed rule will probably kick in again. But you never know, in a final they might not count it, but anyway, no need for these, blah blah blah. So here we go, our first game is at our home stadium, apologies for this lag. Oh, that wasn't bad at all, just wide from uh, the Monte Chiari player. So it's a very dull opening 15 minutes. That was Lodice Cipriani corner. Um, they're looking okay. The basic match stats are probably buried under here somewhere. Yeah, so one shot from San Marino, and that's about all we need to say. Eder Bows corner. Fernandez collects the ball, but he couldn't make use of it. Eder Bow, Luigi Cipriani, Lodice. It's Juan Pastore, but it's a good save. He's still looking for a goal in San Marino colours. And that's that chance gone. Justino to Dimas. And he's won a corner. He scored 25 times, Dimas. You may have noticed it uh, in the uh, match preview screen. Um, Justino looks up again. Oh, bad corner. And this should be Cipriani's ball. Oh, Cipriani's taking a knock. But I have to keep him on. It's oh, Del Sally commits a foul. So Cipriani hurt. The central defensive position is getting a bit worse. Aware, great ball, and it's saved by Alfredi. Very impressive goalkeeping. Have to keep his team in the game. A nil all draw doesn't really suit either team at the minute. Here's Dali. Good header by Eder Bow. Dimas. For Cianello, Lorcano, Luicano, Dimas goes for a goal, but great tackle. Now, David Paletti. 
over to Villanova. Lower DJ. Manuel De Santis. Villanova. Good interchanging play. Paletti loses it, but it's only gone as far as De Santis. Villanova <coughs> commits a foul there, Muschetti. And this is a very risky place to give away a free kick. Ederbao loves his free kicks, but he won't find Cipriani there. Cipriani is probably one of the top five goal scorers for San Marino this season. It's been a difficult time for individual players to, you know, be consistent goal scorers. But here's Ederbao. That's bad. But here's Paletti. Can he get time to turn? No. It's gone as far as Cipriani. Lodice. Pastore! Oh! Rebound! No! No! For Pastore! Cipriani. Del Sole! Deflected wide for a corner. San Marino started to get settled here. They're looking like the better team, but they have to score. And that's cleared. But Sorbera cleans up house. Ederbao! Good effort, but it wasn't to match his magnificent cross that got Villanova a goal uh, against uh, San Sant Arcangelo. But now, oh no, Sorbera's lost it. Sorbera's lost it. Justino just needs to beat the keeper, but he saved it. Well done. But Sorbera will be thanking. A higher power there that Justino did not stay composed. That was ludicrous defending. It's Dimas from distance. Oh wow, that was very risky for San Marino. It's a corner. It's headed by Cipriani and Pastore steals it for an interception. But it's a terrible ball. Fernandez and Alfredi. Ederbao, look at this run, magnificent play from Ederbao, but he couldn't find an attacker. Sorbera, Del Sole, Lodice, Lodice again, Sorbera, Del Sole, David Paletti. Wicked deflection, Del Sole tripped, no penalty, no protests either, which is nice to see, bit of sportsmanship, good header. Del Sole, Lodice, Pastore, he was fouled and this is a dangerous free kick to give away. San Marino must have this opportunity on target but Ederbao does not manage it. 40 minutes gone, nil nil. San Marino looking like the better team but a moment of genius or madness can Change the game. Here's Dimas. Luis Cano over the bar. Oh my goodness. Oh, take a deep breath, San Marino fans. That was probably the best chance of the game. But look at this. It's lovely passing and moving. Villanova. Good save. Um, a goal now for San Marino would be clinical. It really would be a blow to Monte Chiari, who finished third in the season. Ederbao finds Cipriani! What a goal! What a goal from the man who's taken a knock! And it's the commentator's uh, touch, of, touch of life here. Cipriani had acres of space. And that could be a marvellous moment for San Marino half time 1-0 what do you do next Mr Herman and that is the question I'm going to answer I'm going to keep it the same we don't need to change anything but we need to say and please keep it up yeah there you go nice nice one lads at our bow great performance uh, Luigi Cipriani, thank God he's not injured. We would be uh, in the dumps without him. And my first ever playoff final is going marvellously so far. But here come the San Marinese club side. 
Pastore. Oh, he's won a penalty. The referee has no hesitation but to point to the spot. And Ed Herbo, can he score the penalty? Yes, he can. 2 0. And it was Marco Villanova last time, but today it's Ed Herbo's afternoon. One assist and a magnificent penalty straight into the top corner Montichiari have a lot of thinking to do here they thrashed Alessandra 4-1 at home so they can't give up just yet as Villanova is offside Bartolini I think that the pre the nerves are getting to them Ah, oh, Villanova where was his composure He's right in front of goal and he put it over the uh, roof, I think. Uh, now it's getting a bit rough and tumble. It's time for some substitutions. And a deep breath. Oh my god. Fantastic. Uh, Cipriani, I'm going to avoid him getting injured now. We we really do need him. Uh, Salvatore De Sole looks tired. So uh, Giordano can come on as well. And apart from that, I'm pretty pleased with affairs. Uh, I keep controlling the game, we'll be okay. 2 1 will be very dangerous, though. So, well done, lads. Delighted, which is now, just as I mentioned, 2 1 would be dangerous. And will it fortify into the truth? No! Basic, a uh, really simple chance gone to, to waste. I'm going to bring on Torreo, maybe get a third goal. Yeah, why not? I'm, he's going to probably play his last game for the club. Uh, he better make use of it. <coughs> and Piling men forward. Oh! That might have hit the bar or something. I didn't see. So we're going to try and defend this now. And no reason... Like with 50 minutes to go, a third goal would be brilliant, but it could go very wrong if we concede one ourselves. It's all attack, attack, attack for Monte Chiari. Dali. Oh, wow. Fantastic reactions from O'Frady. And uh, Monte Chiari are getting back into the game slowly but surely. How they would love a goal. They won't get it with that kind of corner. It's Torayo. Paletti. Oh, look at the space. But Paletti decides to go alone. And he's won a very nice free kick. What will he do here? He'll leave it for Ederbao. It's nice and handy for a right footer. But no, the keeper has that one in his grasp. Another chance for Monte Chiari. Dolly, just enough from distance. Now, counter attack. Time to activate it. Forward ball for Tarayo to chase, but he'll never get that. Uh, hmm. It's Morano. Dimas. Nicely done by uh, Casaro. 83 minutes, 84. Substitute made. Here's another chance for Monte Chiari. And here we go. Can he get a cross in? He can. Oh, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar from there. Oh, my goodness me. Riding the luck again, our San Marino. But you have to feel they are worthy promotion. Uh, worthy promotion contenders. And promotion winners if they do manage it. But Monte Chiari, uh, they've failed at the final stage. Two minutes stoppage time. Is there one last piece of drama to go? Oh, Justina loves his long distance strikes, but that was not good enough. Um, smacking the lips again. My apologies. Oh, Freddy. He's found Bow. Lodice won't get there quicker. It's full time. 
Yes! Come on! 2 0. Fantastic. Well done. Well done. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So we're halfway there from the depths of despair. We have a great opportunity to become promoted, but I will not dismiss Monte Chiari's chances at their stadium. Oh, 40 grand, love it. That is lovely. Well, it won't put us out of debt just yet. Like, it's not as bad as Gold Coast, but nonetheless, I'm very pleased with that. Uh, there's still another game to go, of course. Yep, away from home. Don't know, let's just check the rules out before we take a pause here. Prize money per win. Ah, nice. Okay. So, if you win both your games, you get 40 grand. I like the sound of that. <clears throat> so we were given a controversial penalty according to the yoke. So uh, tune in or stay tuned. Part 2 of the episode will be part of this uh, same video. So pause if you need to but don't go away otherwise. It's time to see if we get our promotion. A very warm welcome back to uh, the second leg of my San Marino challenge uh, playoff final. Uh, sorry about the mic. Uh, so we're 2 0 up against Monte Chiari after a home leg triumph, and it's simply a matter of uh, consolidating our uh, victory. Uh, so, first leg lead is nice, but this stage doesn't mean anything. Go out there and take control of the tie loving some of the feedback uh, the midfielders got faith defenders faith so everybody looks very happy um, just gotta stay calm one more game to go uh, 90 minutes and San Marino are on the up and up at least for me um, uh, I'm kind of again I have been watching San Marino challenges uh, where people are already in Serie B and Serie A and uh, even though it's August uh, coming up tomorrow uh, at time of recording at least um, I'm kind of running out of time to get my games done for my summer breaks end and before uh, Football Manager 2013 comes out so I'm going to try and move through this as quickly as possible. So now, here we go. Our first main uh, part of the game has won a corner. San Marino win a corner in our first highlight of this game. Mondi Chiari. Obviously a goal now would confirm their downfall. And they're, they'll have to continue playing Serie C2 football next season. That's a clearance. Well done. Uh, from him but San Marino just look very confident all of a sudden after their ultimate slump I don't think it will matter now they would have loved to finish in third place or better but reality was they weren't good enough to get automatic promotion after this, the disappointment and uh, now that was a bit of a lame throw in and now this is Cipriani to clear. He's earned his starting place as well as Fernandez. He was an inspirational signing. And I'm sure you'll get a brand new one year contract. As I still have to do my contract business. Or San Marino have to do it. Oh, that's a great tackle. Reflexes were and reaction time were excellent there. Dimas, 25 goals. He needs at least two more from him or his own team to get there. This is a great chance, oh wow. Oh, Freddy has hit a zenith. He's kept everything out ever since the uh, first leg. Clearance by Fernandez. Dimas, 
Good tackle. Salieri. Carayo. Loica. No. Loadice. Bow. Pastore. Look at the space for David Paletti. But a little bit of a blip. DeSanti. Loadice. Vinova. Paletti. Oh. Vinova. Back to Paletti. Del Sole from distance. Not to be, I'm afraid. Not to be. Salieri. Oh, well caught. Well caught by Alfredi. And so far, so good. It's nil nil half time. For San Marino's point of view, it would be excellent. But Monte Chiari are not done yet. Oh, Cipriani. Talk about inspired. Oh, now it's an Ebo. He just needs to look up. He might go alone. He has. Oh, Ederbo! Take a boo, son! Take a boo! Ederbo has single handedly taken San Marino into the promised land! Bar any complete another meltdowns! Take a boo! It's 1 0, and I don't think anyone deserves it more after. This uh, performances in the two legs. Monte Chiari were so good against Alessandria and they've suffered a slump of their own. Lodice back to Ederbau. He won't score this time. Namely because he's offside and because he put it uh, wide of the post. Loicano. Del Padrone. Oh, great ball for Dimas. Dimas to... Oh, no, not to be. Lodice to Samuel Sorbera. Bow. Sorbera. Lodice. Bow. Pastore has taken over from Lapadula. Oh, boy, he meant that. But I'm sure we'll see more of Lapadula from Parma in the future that was superb bang and you can probably sense the joy I I hope that the fans of the San Marino club are also the fans of the country they are finally seeing some glory come their way after years of uh, mediocrity Del Sole oh lovely play Marco Villanova, he's been a bit part player, but he's played an important role in this uh, final first and second legs. But it really has been Ed Arbao all the way. Now, here he is again. Oh, a clash of heads. And Cipriani couldn't make a, a name for himself today with that chance. Monte Chiari honestly looked lost out there. Dimas, well, once a goal scorer, always a goal scorer. And Dimas will just need one chance and he will be back among the goals. That was a poor pass. Dali to Dimas. He's got space and at a tight angle. Yes! Lovely play from Dimas. And it's game on again. But Monte Chiari need to score two more if they're going to get promoted via the higher seed rule. Okay, I'm going to make my subs. Oh God, no! Don't tell me they're going to concede again. Uh, Cipriani looks exhausted again. Take him off for uh, Stella. Stella deserves a game. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, second sub, Lapadula for Pastore. Oh, excuse me, wrong. Yeah, so there we go. On the lads, keep going, don't lose it now. Uh, here's Dimas. Oh, the goalkeeper had to keep that one out. If he didn't, this game would have been completely turned around. But San Marino need to put the demons to bed. They've got three defenders back. And now the goalkeeper can clear it. Bad ball. But it's the end of the highlight. 
Uh, substitute. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, oh shit. No, in contain. Contain now. Uh, play even safer. Uh, I suppose Pierre. Uh, do I? No, I probably. Probably uh, take off. Uh, no, DJ can probably come off for Giordano. Like so. Okay, so contain, lads. There's no more reason. Oh, no! It's going to be a grand start finish. Monte Chiari take the lead now. And they're one goal away from getting promotion. Oh. Uh, is it is it going to happen the dream has turned into a nightmare grey head header from Dolly oh my god do not do this to me oh no way oh <laughs> we're going to have an almighty Stand off here, Ederbau find Stella, but he's not going to score, I'm afraid. Oh no, come on, survive. Three minutes of stoppage time. We're going to have a bit of a highlight here, bad clearance, take it to the corner. Bow, good cross, but it's cleared. I'll take the 2-1 defeat if that means we get promoted. Ederbao. Lapadula heads it over. And Montichiari have to get the ball back into play. One minute to go to save their dreams. Here they come. Sayeri. Morano is at the post. He's at the post. Oh my gosh! My heart is pounding! Monte Chiari! Where are our pain the woodwork the paint on the woodwork away from winning promotion! But San Marino have done it instead! Ah. Oh. Right, well I don't know what happened in the second half, but it wasn't acceptable. That was absolutely unbelievable. Oh, we've survived. That goal, if it had have gone in, that would have been it. But nonetheless, we are promoted. There's the achievement unlocked. Oh. Oh. Goodness me. Bellaria relegated. And we are promoted. Phew. <sighs> My god. That was so close. I thought we had it in the bag. But Monte Chiari did so well. But we did deserve it to be honest. Um, and we'll just take the promotion. And move on. We'll probably take another episode. Similar to Gold Coast. We have a look at our pre-season. Transfer deals and all that. Before moving on. But that was unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. But I have successfully negotiated the playoffs and i am into the next division so lots of uh, transfer work to do i'll be a more reputable club now we can get better players and so forth so thank you ever so much for watching this has been the san marino challenge season one there'll be plenty more to come in the future i promise you have a good day night evening wherever you may be at the time you're watching Goodbye.